I'm standing in a daze, days away from a toothache. Swimming in a craze, maybe be a phase called the new age. Looking for the rays to guide the way out this fool's cave, and that's when we say, kids these days. <laughs> Let's daze these kids and teach them what a definition is. Cause I don't give a fuck, it's just indifference instead of stating a statement that you are angry and pissed. Middle up, close fist. You know the Romans originated this? Now peep the knowledge I'm about to give. Because it actually meant, in a literal sense, my sack and my dick to which you could sit on a twist. They were basically saying, or more or less displaying, where their dominance is. So when you're flipping your wrist at a mister or miss, you do give a fuck. Now how ironic is this? Pay attention to shit. You might learn just a bit. From my nervous little tics to the things that I spit. Here's another little gift. As I take you back in time to a poem called Flynn Flies. Circa 1475. Otherwise, the very first time the word fuck was ever written in a rhyme. Here's the literal Latin line. Non sumptum coli, quae fucant the vibes of hell eyes. See, the monks of Carmelite had an issue fucking wives in a city called Eli, so a poet took a pen to write about their heinous crimes. Apparently, infidelity just wasn't all that right. But this is just a snippet of its history. It can also be perceived to read fornication under Creed of the King. See, back when the Black Death was taking over the scene and killing every living being, they had to be sure you were pure and free of disease, so with your fuck card over your home, you had permission to breathe, literally. But this has been since dismissed as a false entomology, so y'all didn't get that from me. Forward, 1503, William Dunbar composed a poem with some pen and some cheats, called In a Secret Place, all about how a city slicker would secretly fuck a kitchen maid. Notice how all these lyrics got displayed and made its way from inner canal to inner brain, I'll say it plain. Google knows everything. And in this information age, it's exactly why we say, Kids these days, let's daze these kids and teach them how to properly use the internet. Information is just a double click from your fingertips to compose a list of everything and anything you could ever hold interest in. It's out there. <laughs>